I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Emir has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse-eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery, their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity, long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh! It's the time of madness and disdain.
know I don't find that amusing. It wasn't meant to amuse, but to prod you to hurry. It's midday already. You promised Siri you'd train with her. Go before Vesemir bores her to death with those etchings. So, later then. Hmm. See you later. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. I don't want to be reasonable. Aha, so that's the way the wind blows. Go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? Only ever thought of you. Isn't there something you ought to be doing? You're running out of juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. as beautiful as ever. Witcher's fast asleep. Ciri's disappeared somewhere, of course. Guess she prefers practice to theory. Hmm? What? Time to wake up, Master. These lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice. 
She'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that, if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. Wrong. Now I see why you were so eager to practice. Strike! You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know. And you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? To the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. About breathing through your mouth in rhythm with your steps. <sighs> Siri, cut it out. Expect. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? Very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the Panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep. Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. 
Uncle Vasimir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Ciri's barely a novice. Draw your sword, Geralt! One, two, three! Take that! Slice the jugular! Strong stuff! Give it all you got! Never lock your elbow when straight! <laughs> Position, Siri. Footwork. Remember. Bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches' signs. Let's start with Quinn. Yeah. Siri, Quinn is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. See? If not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. All right, Geralt. Come on! See that, Siri? Art will knock anyone or anything off balance. Destroy the... Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Damn it. Axie can really muddle your mind. Erdan now. Show her, Geralt. I'm too busy this theory. Couldn't move if I wanted to. Throw a bomb. Don't worry, Siri. Gwen will dampen the blow. Continue training at will. Showed him, kid. Siri, get down here. <laughs> A little she devil. Soon as she's back, we'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet.
Siri? Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Some way off, we've got time. Started in the guest room at Kaer Morin. I was relaxing in the tub, and next to me... Triss? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> mm -hmm. True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm. Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it? Your dream. No. The Wild Hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet... soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? Stuffed unicorn. Used it once or twice. In certain... situations. Hmm. The things young folk get up to these days. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls.
Of course. When armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. Ever tell you about this sorcerer I knew? Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Because you can brew potions from their blood? <laughs> no. Because by eating rotting corpses, they prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. War is not exactly going our way. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. Has gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless. Say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail? Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Sol one around. Gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure. Could use a good rye, nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. So, a griffin this close to the village? Strange. My thoughts exactly. In the forest of the mountains, sure, but here? We're near the main road. Maybe it's the war. Corpses everywhere, the stench of blood, burnt flesh. Drives monsters crazy sometimes. Men, too. We need to watch ourselves in White Orchard. And we should leave as soon as we learn anything. Ooh.
Slow now. What? Take that down before there's trouble. That is a coat of arms, the Temerian lilies. They've a right to hang there. This ain't Temeria no more, old man. It's Nilfgaard now. My arse it is. I'll not drink with Weaver Lost Freaks. Beg your pardon for those thugs. No need. We're used to it. Folk are jumpy around here. Armies just passed through. Now a griffin's prowling about. <clears throat> Already had the pleasure. Ran into your kinsman, Bram. Bram? How is he? Alive. Sends his regards. Master witches. Food and drink on the house. What can I get you? Pretty busy place you got. Nation's on the move. Some search for kin. Others just want to get out of the way of the armies. They all need food, drink, and a night's rest in warmth. So, war's been good for your trade? Aye, so far. But it'd be best to know peace again. Times like these, you never know what tomorrow will bring. There a contract on that griffin? Nay, not at the moment. Used to be. Soon as a beast had built a nest nearby, the alderman would start a collection, or go to the lord for help. Now, the Alderman don't use the privy without asking the Black One's permission first. And, seems they hanged the Lord. So no contract. Shame. We might have done something, but not for free. Looking for a woman. Raven-haired, violet eyes, dresses in black and white. Riding in from Willoughby. And, uh, strange as it sounds, lilac and gooseberries might have smelled that. I've not seen nor smelt such a lady. I believe I'd remember. Yeah, especially hard to forget this one. Plenty of travellers about, though. Folk from all over. Might be worth your while to ask after her. Thanks. For everything. that up? Please. I'm not decrepit yet. Then I'll ask about Yennefer. Mm-hmm. Just remember, we'd rather not draw any attention. Black One's been out measuring the fields. Let him measure. Better that than burning the harvest. Oh, Drommel. Drommel, you're dumber than a headless cockerel. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Realize it's been half a year since we hunted down that fiend in Varun? Yes. Well, that was more than a fiend. What was that bastard's name? Drugan? May the soil lie light upon him. Things used to be simpler. Monsters were bad, humans good. Now, everything's all confused. Used to be exactly the same. You've just forgotten. Do well not to point up my age. You're near a century old yourself. See you later, Vesemir.
There are four factions. Four what? Factions, teams, suits, similar to clubs and spades, except each suit has its own... Looking for a woman. Uh, like everyone. Not like everyone. And not just any woman. Mine smells of lilac and gooseberries, dresses in black and white. Two schnapsies. <laughs> It'll lift your spirits. Fine, I'll have a drink. Can we cut to the chase? You seen her or not? Yennefer of Wengerberg. Never mentioned her name. Yet you described her perfectly. And once I hear something, I never forget. Can't help it. How do you know Yennefer? What a question. Master Dandelion's ballads, of course. The only way a humble merchant might hope to rub up against greatness. Unless, that is, he's as lucky as I am. And runs into a very patient witcher. It's a Geralt of Rivia himself. The Butcher of Blaviken. Recognize me from Master Dandelion's ballads, too? To your health. What do you do? Who are you? A mangy vagrant. Gone to road deem at your service. Vagrant? That a profession now? Ah, uh, once a merchant of mirrors. The madding crowd dubbed me Master Mirror, or the Man of Glass. You seen Yennefer? Deepest apologies, but I must ask. Is this about love? Guessed it. It's love. I knew it at once. What do you know? Tell me. Before you appeared, it never occurred to me that might have been Yennefer. Who would have thought? Get to the point. An elf guardian scout from the local garrison saw her. Where? At their camp. She rode in there. Dark of night. Black and white. Gooseberries and... Yes, I know. Had a terse exchange with the garrison commander and raced off. Where to? <laughs> I'm not omniscient. Ask at the garrison. Thanks. We men of the road must stick together. Perhaps one day I'll be in trouble and you'll be nearby to help. Done drinking. Mm -hmm. Then fuck off. <laughs> Don't want your kind here. I haven't done anything to you, so just calm down. Of course not. No, I, uh, you've done nothing. Horses work in witchcraft. Get him! Last time I 
Lost your key, ma'am? No, not me key. Me pan. It always sat there empty, this hurt. That is, till the night afore the battle. A man arrived, walked right in like to his own. He was standing at me window, peering at the goings on. He must have had Cause next I knew, there he was, coming my way. So, I grabbed me pan for protection, see? But he just asks all polite, Gran, got any birch bark by chance? Lilac berries or even a few coals? Nay, says I. And you must be right daft to pester folk at night with such foolery. Well, he sees he ain't listening. Just staring at me pan like a magpie at a copper. Lend it to me, Gran. I'll give it back come morn. Baffled for what's he doing, frying in the dark. But I've got a soft heart, so I gave it to him. Interesting. What happened then? Before dawn, another rode up to the hut. But come morn, only the first fella left. Locked the door, hopped on his horse, and that were all I saw of him. And me pan. T'were old, black with soot, not worth much, I suppose. But I've no other. Would you help me, dearie? Bring an old widow or a pan. I could never break down that door myself. And in truth, I'm a fear to go in any road. Such a stench wafting out. Methinks the other fellow. Well, that he's lying there. Never taken on a pan contract. Fine, I'll go in, look around. You should wait here, just in case. soldier might have. What? His throat. He was garroted. And some old scars. Kind of soldier might have. But when I gab to me, Sal, they say I'm going bar me. Ah, the priceless frying pan. Hm, scrubbed clean. Looks like the mystery man didn't need the pan so much as the soot off it to make ink write letters. Here, your frying pan. Mine? But mine were black with soot. And I could see myself in this one if I wanted. But them years are past. Soot's just what the gentleman needed. He scraped it off, made ink out of it. And... and the other fellow? Dead. Round up a few boys and bury him outside the village. Deep, so the necrophages don't dig him up. And take my advice. Don't mention this to the Nilfgaardians. Hang about! You've earned a token of thanks. Here's for the Lord. Try up a nice white fish for supper. Or a pipe.
Goodman's boy knows a merchant to trap him. Look at me. Hey there. Now listen carefully. You're never to sing that rhyme again. Never. And you're not to play with Chetty. What the fuck am I to do? Hey! What? What happened here? Oh, got a wee bit chilly the night, so I set fire to my forge. Got a nice and roaring. Roasted some wieners. What do you think happened, dimwit? Some bugger set a light me, me workshop. I've lost everything. Everything! Easy on the insults. I could add to your misfortune. Any suspects? Whole damned village. I've lived here half a century. Thought they saw me as one of their own. But everything changed when the Black Ones came. I'm the only smith around, so I got to service their garrison. Bang dents out your plate, shoe horses. That sort of thing. Milf guardians don't pay me a bloody copper. Just give me supplies and orders. But humans can't fathom that. They think I'm getting rich off their misfortune. That I sleep on a pile of gold like a plowing dragon. They've stopped talking to me. Spit when I pass. And now this. I can find your arsonist, provided you're willing to pay. <sighs> I've not much left. But I'll give you all if you bring me that horse in, so that he gets what he deserves. The night of the fire, I heard movement outside my hut. Went out to see if I could find any tracks, but found nothing. But then I haven't got cat eyes, have I? Good luck. You look at me. Shavings from a tinderbox. Arsonist must have lit his torch here, tossed it on the roof, then fled through the orchard. Bootprints. A man's. Large. of piss and vodka. I knows what I knows. Elsa bears her rump for the blackens. Little whore. Lost his boots in the rush. Something jumped out of the rushes. Drowners. But he managed to escape. Bleeding, but 
not badly. Surface wound. Trail ends here, but I'll recognize him by his wounds. What the fuck do you care? Whoa, our arsonist's a charmer too. Come on, Smith wants to talk to you. I not talk to a non-human. Sons of bitches all, and dwarves are the worst. Greedy little magpies do anything for gold, they will. <laughs> they forge the blades the black ones put to our throats. Am I not right? Listen, we can work this out man to man. I give you gold, you don't turn me in. My mum died a while back and I sold her tools. I've spent some, but what's left is yours. Magpies and dwarves might be greedy, but I'm not. Can't buy me. Then I'll beat your fucking mug to a pulp! Calm down. Now follow me. Freak. Boydemar, would you raise a glass with me? It's Durban now. D E R V A N. Not Boydemar. Oh! Up and at him. Hmm? What? what? What's going on? Here you go. One village pyromaniac in the flesh. Nap! You! I knew your mum for years. Charged her nary a copper. This is how you repay me. I've had enough. Hey! Soldier, a minute of your time, please. No, Willis, I beg you. I, 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 I was drunk. Didn't know what I was doing. I've told you, Master Willis. We will help you rebuild once reinforcements come. The supplies have been ordered. Not what this is about, mate. This here's the arsonist. A witcher found him. The forge was important to the garrison. Destroying it was sabotage. No trial needed here. Just a tree. Harsh as punishment goes. But deserved. You know, I hated the Black Ones at first, like everybody else did. Now I'm thinking they might just bring order to this place. Teach these layabouts some manners. But enough about that. Your reward. And, I managed to save some things from the fire. Anvil's still whole, so I'm sure I can bang something out on it. You need anything, let me know. Give you a good price. I think those plums are even helping me go. I bet we settle us all south of a Yoruga. And bring in the guardians to farm our land. Oh, I heard about that. Mum, don't let us talk to strangers. Go, go! Faster.
come on. What happened? Monsters. Monsters from the swamp. Folks said the road was fraught with peril, but I wouldn't listen. Got my comeuppance now. Less moaning, more details. What happened, and how can I help? And remember, I don't work for free. Witcher's code and all. Well, was on my way to the Black Ones to trade. Suddenly, my horse got spooked, ran clear off the road. We hit a bump, I went flying, and the horse and cart rolled on. Then I heard bubbling, neighing, slurping. Something came out from the muck, devoured Asher, hooves and all. No doubt my goods are still on the cart, but I'm too afraid to go and see. Thought maybe you? I'm most concerned about a little box. Bring it to me. I beg you. Fine, I'll go. Let you know if I find that box. swamp. serious memory problems, or he's lying. Must be that box he mentioned. Splattered with blood. Human blood. And you find the box? Yeah, found your priceless chest. And someone who looks an awful lot like a cart driver with an arrow through his neck. 
No dryads in these swamps, and never known a drowner or a water hack to use a bow. So lacking any other suspects, I'm guessing. Watch out! Behind you! There's nothing behind me. I'm a witcher, I'd have heard it. Just like I can hear your heart, which is pounding. Like a liar's. Best hope you're a better writer than you are a liar. Gotta get him out of here. Wake up. See? Can't run from the truth. Not even on horseback. Now who are you, and why'd you attack that cart? Private First Class John Gamer. Temerian 6th Division, 2nd Regiment. Disbanded, but still active. Underground, in the woods. That was a medical transport. I'd be damned if it reached the Black Ones. And the medicine. Our lads could use it too. We've many ill among us. You let me go, and they might live and fight once more for a free North. Fine. Go. And may you and your soldier buddies hiding in the bushes be victorious in your struggle against Nilfgaard. You've a vile sense of humor. But you're a decent man. Here, the gold I promised. Use it well. Drink to the silver lilies and to Foltest's memory. Thanks once again. Tamaria has not yet perished. Military camp. No locals allowed without the express consent of the garrison commander. I look like a local to you? You look like trouble. Dead wrong. I make trouble go away. I'm a witcher. A witcher? Captain Peter Sugwin Levy is in the tower. Turn right, past the gate. Guessing your captain's got work for me. This is the army, Nordling. There is no guessing. To the tower. Go. Goltais Griffin is requisition the share of your harvest. How much grain will your village give? Whatever you say, Your Excellency. Look at my hands. Look. See the calluses? These are not the hands of an Excellency, but of a farmer. So we speak peasant to peasant. How much can you give? Forty bushels. There'd be more, sir, but our lads, the Temerians, that is, took from us earlier and... You will give thirty, and that will do. Let us settle on it, and I wish to see the transport soon. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you kindly. I summoned only the Elderman and the Smith, Willis. But it is said he is a dwarf. You are too tall to be him. 
Plan to requisition something from him, too? If it is necessary, yes, of course. We are at war, in case you have not noticed. Who are you? Speak! Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Vatgarn. This explains why I did not hear your footsteps. What do you seek here? Yennefer of Vengerberg. Where was she headed? That is a military secret. Haven't thrown me out yet. Haven't called the guards. So go ahead. What's your price? There is a griffin in the area. Slay it. And then I shall see what I can do. Why do you care about this griffin? Because I care about people. The beast has killed ten already, including a few of my men. To hunt it, I would need to mobilize the entire garrison, comb the woods, organize a batu. Simply impossible. Too big a hassle? No. Too high a risk. I cannot disperse my forces. Demeria's army we have crushed, but its common folk remain. Ready to answer a call to arms. So, as to this griffin, I can sit on my hands, or hire a professional. It's a deal. Some questions before I start. Know where the griffin has its lair? It kept to the Vulpine Woods at first. I sent a patrol there, five young men. A hunter found them two days on. They only recognized them because they wore our plate. Since then, the griffin has grown bold. Attacks in villages, fields, on the main road. Meaning it's abandoned its lair. Gonna have to set a trap. I judge from your tone this will not be easy. What do you require? Need more information about this griffin, its sex, why it's abandoned its lair. Shall I bring you witnesses? They won't say anything I don't already know. I need to go where your men died. Look around. What's the name of the hunter who found them? Mislov. He has a hut south of the village, very near the wood. Helpful fellow. A little strange, though. I'll need bait. A specific herb. Buckthorn. Scent should lure the griffin from ten miles off. Buck... Buckthorn? I do not know this, but I am not yet fluent in the common tongue. Mm -hmm. Probably mastered the basics, though. Hands up. Kill them. No. First came idioms. Don't play with fire, for example. Go to Tomira, an herbalist. She lives near the crossroads. She will aid you. Tomira and Mislav. Thanks. Es sind die Akten. Went missing one day, so folks everything is gonna be fine. Void him up. Would you raise a glass with me? It's German now. Let's go.
all. Hand me the beggar tickets, the... Red Bloom. Well, well, one versed in herbs. Probably saying too much, but I know a bit. For instance, that beggar ticks poisonous. In large doses, small ones soothe pain and bring forth pleasant dreams. Which is all I can hope to do for her. Griffin, do that to her. Delina. Yes. Attacked her at night. She was walking in the woods. At night? Through the woods? In wartime? Meeting a boy. The young, you know, do foolish things for love. Wounds are healing, but she will die. Blood's pooling in her skull. Nothing my bruise can do to help. Could try to help her with one of my potions. Swallow can heal internal hemorrhages. But? Witcher's potions aren't for humans. She'll die as it is. Yes. A peaceful death soothed by your concoctions. If I give her swallow and something goes wrong, the whole village will hear her screams. I understand. Do as you will. Looking for buckthorn. Know if it grows anywhere around here? Hmm. Bottom of the river, where the channel's widest. But you do know that once out of the water... It'll stink worse than a weak old carcass. Counting on it. I'm hunting the griffin. Need the buckthorn for bait. I was thinking... A few years ago we had trouble, drowners under the bridge. A whole village had to pitch in for a witcher. Who now can afford the bounty on a griffin's head? Captain Peter Sars... something something. Ah, oh, good to know the Black One's looking out for our welfare. Nilfgaard values one thing. Order. Griffin's disturbing that. It's gotta go. Yes. First they'll tend to the monsters, then to the folk. Not from here, are you? A lot of bitterness in you. Too much for someone who spent her life in a hut in the middle of nowhere. True. And you're in a hurry. Elsewise you'd not use bait, just wait for the griffin to attack again. Believe we could have an interesting conversation. Maybe next time. Yes? Got any herbs you're willing to sell? I'm sure I can find something. Farewell.
Faster. <sighs> That's it, Roach. Who knows what the Moro will bring? Down sits a low, low tree. trouble. What a waste of time! The Earth shall revolve around the sun before you comprehend these rules. Got a minute? Why not? Aldert Git, Assistant Professor in Contemporary History at Oxenfurt Academy. Geralt of Rivia. Witcher, with tenure. I'm looking for a woman. Long hair, dressed in black and white. Seen anyone like that? Of course not! Unlike the populace, I know the horsewoman of war is pure poppycock. Horsewoman of war? What's that about? Folks say an omen. 
A beautiful phantom rides the fields at night, looks as you described her. Armies follow her, and all who cross her path meet with misfortune. I can vouch for the last bit. Know where they saw her? No facts interest me, not fairy tales. Not a place I'd ever expect to find a scholar. Take it you're fleeing the war? Quite the opposite. Chasing it. I'm headed for the front. Tired of life? I seek knowledge, which I value more than life itself. I've a thirst no dusty old tomes can quench. I wish to see the Nilfgaardian invasion with my own eyes, understand it, and record it all in my chronicle, my magnum opus. Take my advice. Go back to your books while you can. War's no game. No faculty meetings to attend. No tenure to gain. End notes to compile. First soldier you see'll kill you. Why would he do that? Me? A neutral civilian? A scholar? Boots. Come again? He'll kill you for your boots. War reached Novigrad yet? Nope. But it's only a matter of time. Nilfgaard on one bank, Redania on the other. Drooling over the city like dogs over a juicy bone. Many a ruler's choked on that bone. True. We value our liberty in Novigrad, and we know how to fight for it. Mm -hmm. The scholars especially. The sword is not the only weapon. Do not forget, architects from our academy designed the city walls. Walls no war machine has ever crumbled. Gotta go. So long. A moment, Witcher. You strike me as a man of the world. Are you familiar with Gwent? No, and I don't have time to learn. But the rules are quite simple. Come, let's play. Hmm. Why not? Splendid! Here's how it's done.
You've a knack for this game. If you ever find yourself in Oxenfurt and wish to play a true master, ask for Stepan. A simple innkeep by trade, but a true maestro when it comes to Gwent. I'll remember that. Thanks. Ah, you return. Shall I deal? Gotta go. So long. Till next time. Yes? What is it, Wolf? Got good news and bad news. Good news first. Captain of a Nilfgaardian garrison knows where Yennefer went. And the bad's that we have to kill the Griffin for him. What else could he want from two witchers? Go on. Tell me what you know. Griffin's abandoned its lair. Gotta make a lure, set a trap. And how's that going? Got the buckthorn. Ought to work like a charm. Powerful scent. More like stench. City boy. Rotting meat, manure, piss. Standard smells of the countryside. Remember Tredegor? Hunting that zoogle in the trash heap? You spent half the next day bathing, scrubbing yourself. How can I forget? You ever gonna stop bringing that up? All right. About the Griffin. Learn what you can. We gotta make a lure that'll work. As soon as we do, we can start. Later, Vesemir. You, Ms. Love. Shh. Hear that? Wolves? No. Wild dogs. Yes. More dangerous than wolves. Dogs more dangerous than wolves? Don't think so. It's the truth. Know why? No, but I guess you're about to tell me. Wolves hunt to fill their bellies. Wild dogs kill for sport. Just like humans. Aye. They've learned much from us. Why not cruelty too? I'm hunting bigger game. The Nilf Guardians the Griffin killed. Where'd you find them? Ah, I see. You a witcher. That monster slayer they's talking about in the village. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, sure. But, uh, I gotta kill those mutts before they hurt someone. Will you help? That is, if you don't mind blunting your silver blades on them. Sure, Griffin's not going anywhere. No, dogs might though. So step careful now. Come on. These dogs been a problem for a while now. Since the war started, soldier on the march, he'll stop to rape a woman, strangle her, kill her man for a chuckle, even butcher a cow. But a dog. Kick in passing, no more. So we stray mutts form packs. They've gone too late. Attacked another one.
Dieter. You know him? We served at the Lord's Manor together, where the Black Army's encamped now. He was a stable hand, I was the Lord's Hunter. But that was before... Well, a long time ago. Before what? Before they drove me from the village. What did you do? Nothing. I'm a freak. Sorry. I'd rather not talk about it. I'm a freak too. Aye. But of another kind. If it's lycanthropy, I can help. What? Lycanthropy. Werewolves. Handled a few cases in the past. It's usually a simple curse that... The Lord's son, Florian, and I... We loved each other. Dieter walked in on us in the stables. They drove me away. Florian hanged himself. Lord started drinking, and the estate fell into ruin. That's the long and short of it. I'm sorry. Uh, ancient history now. I was to show you where I found the Nilf Guardians. Come. Griffin, know anything about it? Not much. Not my kind of game. You're his kind, though. Survival instincts alone ought to make you care. I walk silent through the woods. No griffin can hear me nor spy me. was here. One lay there, by the stump, headless. The other hung from a branch, guts splayed, stretching down to... Watch out for yourself now. Nothing to mourn. They were Nilf guardians. They were lads, like ours. Just clad in black plate. Good hunting now. Guardians were celebrating. Griffin interrupted them. A camp. Grounds black, saturated with blood. are older and deeper, heavily armored. Elf guardians probably.
Griffin's nest. What remains of it, at least. The corpse is a couple of weeks old. Still alive when the Griffin brought him here. Took a long time dying. Female. Larvae in her wounds have already hatched. Been dead at least a week. Other Griffin must be a male. Deep cuts over the whole body. Not a drop of blood on the beak or claws. Didn't defend herself. Crept up on her while she slept. Beak tips worn. Gray hairs in the coat. Ten, twelve years old. Griffins pair off for life when young. Male must be about the same age. Thick shaft, dense barbs. Royal Griffin. Explains why the male I ran into was so aggressive. Hunted the Nilf Guardians down here in the forest first, then started prowling the area. Done all I could. Should talk to Vesemir. Yes, yes, this boy. Will he venture out to inspect his grain anytime soon? What for? Harvest is a long way off yet. Yes. What is it, Wolf? Been busy with the Griffin contract. And? Learned some things. It's a male. Had its nest in the Vulpine Woods. The Nilf Guardians burned the woods down, killed its mate, smashed their eggs. Thought they'd fixed things. It's always the same. Instead of sending for a professional, they try to do it themselves, only end up making matters worse. <laughs> Fine. If everything's ready, say the word and we'll get to work. I'm ready. No point in waiting. Let's find a good spot to ambush it. Picked one out already, other side of the stream. There's fields and a grove. Plenty of room and far enough so no one will get in our way. Good. Me there.
Cadmill and Corey at Edward Kill. Hey, ya! Uh. Slow now. Whoa. A stream, amber waves of grain. Charming place. Perfect for an ambush. I know how to choose them. So, ready? Let's start. Wind's good. Bait's scent will spread quickly. Now all we have to do is wait. Come on. We can cower in the shade of those birches. So tell me, once we find Yennefer, what'll you do? Got your eye on a contract? No. I'll go to Kaer Morhen. Little early to settle in for the winter. Snows are a way off, yes. And that's what worries me. Nilfgaard's crossed the Pontar in the east. Puts them maybe a week's march from Kaer Morhen. If they reach the valley before snows can cover the passes... Well, we need to cover our tracks, hide our paths. Speaking of winter and wintering, think you'll come this year? Maybe. Might bring a guest. us on the evils, but you're a gambler yourself. Stop talking. Got a griffin to kill. Watch out! It's about to die!
old, you could stand to improve some things. Man spends his whole life learning. Not a witcher, unless he doesn't want to live long. But more on that later. Take the Griffin's head to the Black Ones. I'll ready our horses. Meet me at the inn. Slow now. 